that's impressive. Wow. Dutch caravan going up five. So that's how you do it. Well done. <laughs> they give you a few beers to keep going. <laughs> Bend and we're heading towards Tumut. Um, we're going to go into the tourist place and um, book a couple of nights at Blowering Dam. Um, I think there's a couple of different sites there, but I think the pines might be one to pick. Anyway, we'll check that out when we get there. And also, we need to book in for um, for Cobart Beach uh, for a couple of nights, and then we head off to Eden. So. Stay with us and we might start show you some sights and um, some yeah, tourist attractions and travel along with us, see what happens. So we've been held up here for a while um, and if you have a look back there, like you see heaps of cars hold up behind us and we've just got to wait and hopefully we get to tune it soon. This is Janima Campground. It's three kilometres from Telbingo. It's sort of in a valley. Quite nice. It's got nice fire pits. Not huge, but it will take bigger bands. Nice picnic tables, they look new. That's quite nice. This is the little shopping centre in Telbingo. So this is Telbingo. Camping, so it's just a day center. Yeah, it's a gen Genema day center. This is Yachting Point Campground. It's quite big. You fit heaps of uh, larger vans in here. Plenty of places to camp. Lots down by the water. Quite nice. You can camp anywhere down here. Next time we might come here. So what we're doing is we're actually at a stop sign here. They're actually doing the uh, road work up just outside our camp. And uh, what's your name? Scott. Scott. So Scott's doing a freaking terrific job. Um, and how how often do you get a break from standing here doing this? Couple of hours, right, and, yeah. and they, they just like give you, throw you a few beers and that. And you're right. Sorry? They give you a few beers to keep no, going. <laughs> no, good job, good job. Yeah, butt keep. <laughs> so this is the Pines Campground where we're camped, and it's it's lovely, but it's not as big as the last couple that we showed you. If you camped over here. Go down that hill a bit, but you've got to go on the foreshore to get there because there's a need a bit, a bit of road work fixing needed here. But we're tucked in just there. But that's about it. There's not a great deal of camps here, so if you've got a big rig, you might want to might want to go to either Yachting Point or Junima Junima Camp. Hi guys, we're actually uh, spending two nights at uh, Lowering uh, Dam, which is just um, south east of Tumut. Um, there's uh, a lot of information here about fishing, uh, absolutely pristine water. A lot of guys actually put their boats in here and go fishing all day. Um, you can see the dam wall over there, you can actually drive back around 
and, and visit the dam. We've got some people swimming over there. Um, there's some good campsites here. It's fairly small, that's us over there. And there's a bit of shade and uh, it probably needs a little bit of a tidy up. You've got a boat ramp here, which is pretty cool. Uh, but the vista and the view is fantastic. Down there, close to the water, up here we've got uh, toilets. Uh, there's some people camping over there. Fairly close to the road up this end, so if you're going to come and stay here, you need to actually go further down, I reckon, to get away from the road noise. So they reckon the uh, blowing uh, dam is the fastest water in the world and the reason for that is uh, they break a lot of records here uh, for land speed or water speed records. So the Bluebird, Donald Campbell's Bluebird back in 1964 and then Ken Warby's Spirit of Australia in 1977. Uh, he got to 511.11 kilometres an hour which is 317.6 miles an hour and the Bluebird was actually uh, 444. So I tell you what, if you're traveling at that speed, I don't reckon my porter boat would do it, but um, just imagine them speeding across there, it'd be fantastic. And we met Ryan and Renee. So that's how you do it. Well done. <laughs> See you in a couple of days. You can actually see where the fires came through um, probably a couple of years ago. Um, didn't get there, but uh, you can actually see a fair bit of devastation. And look at this tree here. He's a goer. He is a stayer. And um, I don't know how often he actually uh, gets dry feet, but um, He's looking pretty cool. Talking about cool. Oh, that's nice. The water's so clear. It's probably melted snow. Oh, here comes the water tanker. So this guy comes down to um, fill up because they're doing the roadworks. And um, I reckon he might even like chuck a, um, a rod out if he could. He probably can't. But I'll be out of his way before he actually squashes me. You got a good job? You got a couple of fishing rods as well or? No, I reckon. Uh, the water's beautiful. It's so clear. Yeah, beautiful clear, isn't it? I don't reckon you'll make much of a dent in this. I think what other day there's a couple of you now, there's two ladies and something like that. Who's been watching you? Curiosity. Well, why are you sucking the water out of here? <laughs> you can see down there, it's just about run over. She goes, Yeah. And they got me up here to take some of our samples and run over. They're just looking at me. Oh, really? <laughs> and they walked away from me. <laughs> 10 foot, and they come back and they said, This is one hell of a bed. You would have taken a lot of loads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's really good. And so I noticed. So they reckon this is like a, a battery bank, so they only use, turn the power on when they have to. Yeah, the bottom there, yep. yeah. And then they actually put it into the grid. Is that how yep. it works? Yep, yep. Does, yeah. And there's a couple of other holding dams and other yeah, power stations for it. Yep. Yep. They can pump it up and down all day. Yeah. You go past one day, it's going to be empty, come past the half and it's back full again. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. They're just building another plant up there now. Big tunnels, obviously, all these trucks are running all the gear up and down here. They drill the hole from um, Talbingo Dam, yep. Lobs Hole is called, yep. underground, through tunnel. So oh, wow. They can move the tunnel. Wow. 
they're going to run water through it, back and forth, they're going to pump from Calvingo Dam to Tankangra Dam. This is like going down to a hill like that. Yep. And they drill through it. <laughs> and then they can just suck the water and pump it back as they want. Yep. They want. They so is that, um, is that Snowy bags. 3 or Snowy 2 or what's... Uh, Hydro too. Yeah, two. Yeah, yeah, that's the one they're, they're trying to. That's the one they're building now. Yeah, pretty. Years work well. You've done this a few times. <laughs> Nick. Nice to meet you. Oh, it says there, Nick. Yeah, yep, and it's uh, M and B with us. Yeah. So if anyone up uh, around um, area, area needs some water, uh, if your dam, or your, your tanks, your dams, um, come see Mick and uh, just mention Oz Lappin, and they'll give you a good deal. You get two extra liters of water. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how you have a shower when you actually need to uh, have a shower. Now this is going to be serious. Wow, look at that. That is, that's going right over there. I might just go into that. That's pretty cool. Wowzers. <laughs> It's raining! It's raining! <laughs> That's impressive! Wow! Impressive, eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. To close the aperture. Yep. Good job. Don't waste any more water. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I tell you what, that would knock you over if it hit you. No, nah, good job. Anyway, we've had a nice couple of days here and we'll see what else there is to look at. Large caravan going up five. So what we've got here is, because it's so tight with so many big trucks, they've actually got numbers along the road as we go up to Telbingo, out of Telbingo, heading towards um, the Kosciuszko, and it's just warning um, trucks uh, where we are, and they're warning us where they are, and sometimes we know that they're going to come screaming around the corner and we just stop for them. Large caravan going up at six. So we've had lots of roadworks uh, here. We're going over near Kosciuszko on the Snow Mountain Highway. And um, this is a pretty good looking place here. It's got the, the uh, it's boon. It's called a boon gate. Boon gate. Not a boom gate. It's not a boon either. It's a boon. A boon gate. See? Porter boon. That's a porter boon. That's pretty cool. A bit different here when it's snowy. Hmm. Now we've got some bridge work. Too fast at 41. 
Here we are at Camp 29 at Hobart Beach, nice and big, and listen to the bird life. Tucked in here, there's a fire pit, you don't even have to take it off the car. Perfect, very happy. So check this out, we've finally got to the beach after coming across uh, Snowy Mountains Highway, and that was a bit of an effort, but uh, look at this. Absolutely fantastic. I get my feet wet. You can see the mist. I reckon it's going to come in. Whoa. Yay! Look at that. Well, we've got some bad weather on the way, and uh, we're probably going to have another shower before we come home, but. Uh, this is pretty fantastic. You've got Eden over there. Uh, we're spending 10 days there in a couple of days' time. And we're at the um, Hobart Beach uh, Camping Ground National Park. So it's pretty cool. So we just spent the last two nights at Hobart Beach uh, National Park. Um, there was two of us, so it was actually $12 a night each, so $24 per uh, night. Uh, we also had to pay $8 a day uh, for the car uh, day pass. Uh, the site's are quite well laid out um, with amenities. They're all tucked away, which is pretty good. Um, and you can actually get to the lake and also this way to the beach. Site's 11 to 17. A little bit of a ring road. People camp either side. So there's one of the locals. How's it going? Hey! Oh, and there's Dad over there. How's it going? You're a bit bigger, aren't you? You've got a nice baby. You're a nice baby. Yep. He's definitely a bigger boy, that one. You got the life? We got the life. So from where we're actually camped over there, we just spin straight around here, and we've got the lake. The lake's actually salt. Uh, the mouth of the uh, the river's open, and I've got on some good advice that there's prawns here. Unfortunately, the moon hasn't been right to um, get prawns, but uh, it's quite nice. It goes to a depth of about four point, I think, seven fathoms. Uh, it drops right off, and that's actually where you'd find your flatheads sitting. It's quite nice. So it doesn't get much better than this. This is the uh, the lake. And there's obviously houses up on the hill here. We've got a couple of um, wakeboarders over there doing their thing. Some of the guys have actually brought boats in, and they're actually um, camped in the site, so they must dump their boats somewhere. Uh, well, that looks pretty good. It's going to be another nice day. Although it's a national park, uh, they do have bins, which is really good. So they've got the recycling as well as the general rubbish. We've got uh, showers here too, hot showers and toilets. So you really get the money that you spend on a night here by using their showers and uh, toilets.
basically for your uh, day pass you open this box up if you can no you can't 